Good evening, folks. This is Dr. Freedom News. We bring you Dr. News, news from in and around the universe that may, just someday may exist. I'm not kidding. It's just been dead quiet. There's nothing really been around that's worth reporting. So that's why I haven't been shooting daily videos like I would normally do, because it's just been dead quiet. Now, some of you are going to look at the title of this article and go, oh, that's clickbait. And I, of course, you're going to see from the iron ironic thing I'm going to add at the end of the title, I don't believe this either, because for one, we've had no formal announcement that Peter Capaldi is leaving. Hey, let's go ahead and just show you what I'm talking about. This popped up today in the Metro. Could Emma Watson replace Peter Capaldi in, you know, in Doctor Who? Now, I have nothing against the actress Emma Watson. I think she'd be, you know, she's an incredible actress. I think she could pull it off, but A, the BBC can't afford her. There's no way they're going you know, to, unless she takes a major pay cut, you know, come on. Why would she leave the movie screen to go, go to television? You know, unless, you know, maybe she is a big Whovian and wants to do it. But at the same time, I don't see it happening because that mainly that they can't afford her. And I really don't see her abandoning a movie career to come back to a television show. But, you know, you never know. But at the same time, we've had no formal announcement that Peter Capaldi is leaving as of yet. Uh, someone left in the comment box the other day about something about going on about ratings in America. And um, as far as I know, Doctor Who is still the number one Saturday night highest rated drama on BBC America. So I don't see how they're getting rid of Capaldi over a rating slip in America when the only rating slip that's been reported has been over in the UK. So I don't know where that came from. You got to show me some documentation. So once again, you know, you're going to see from the title of today's video, I'm going to put on there basically, really? Are you kidding? Because it's a fantasy. That's all it is. This is just complete made up bunk. And they're doing this as clickbait. That's all it is. Okay, Doctor Who needs a major reboot and a female lead, but where will Chris Chibnall take the show? This is an opinion piece, and I love this. The BBC's tired and baffling sci-fi. I've heard nothing but praises for this series. Nothing but praises, except for one or two sad individuals who seem to have a Moffat problem lately. I got some bad news for you. Now, I've said this multiple times. I'm going to say it just one more for you. Welcome to the minority. It's a boring place. I used to live there. But okay, so this is an opinion piece, okay, on what they feel they should need to see and whatnot. And I got some bad news for you. I've read this article. Nonsense. Okay, limited edition Doctor Series 9 steelbooks are available to order. Amazon are doing a limited run of Blu-ray steelbooks for the Doctor Series 9 Complete Series. These will feature exclusive artwork designed by Alex Zhang, and I'm not going to say Alex Zhang because I'll tongue, tie my tongue up blah, 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 like that, you see. was personally selected by Peter Capaldi to create the designs. And there's some stuff, what he called extra features and whatnot. But these are really nice to have. I, I have some steel jacketed movies that I've had, you know, put away and whatnot. Heck, I was lucky I found a steel jacketed copy of like Serenity, Dune, and whatnot. And it's just a nice collector's thing to have on the shelf. So you go, go check this out. Go take a look at this if you're interested. All right, moving on. Now, this is how Doctor Who's 50th anniversary looked when Christopher Eccleston was still in it and Billy Piper wasn't. And what it is is they have a collection of some of the storyboards, and you can obviously tell that these particular scenes – we're meant to be Chris Eccleston. So if you want to go check this out, up to you. It's it, it's just a nice little piece there, seeing some, you know, some of what might have been, you know. None of that stuff was actually shot. It's just storyboard, okay? <coughs> Doctor Who Adventures number 11. This Thursday, issue 11 of Doctor the revamped Doctor Who Adventures will be out. Here's a little list of what's going to be in it. Issue 11 comes with a free monster kit and will be on sale the 4th of February which is two days from the, this recording at £3.99. All right, Lethbridge Stewart will arrives on audio. Candy Jar Books and Phantom Films have announced a partnership to release the first four adventures of Lethbridge Stewart as audiobooks. These unabridged stories are to be read by Terry Malloy, an actor voice artist well-known to Doctor Who as the embodiment of Dalek creator Davros for some 32 years. So, and he's always very good with the voices, Terry Malloy. All right, now here's the list. Okay, Forgotten Sun will be released, you know, this month, uh, and this will be followed by Schizoid Earth in March. Uh, Beast of Fang Rock will be released in June, and Mutually Assured Domination will be released in July. Now, all all ADO, so, uh, all ADOs. What the heck's an ADO? ADO. I have no idea what an all ADO is, but I know it's not good. Okay, 
So if you want, they are now available to pre-order directly from Phantom Films, and you can purchase them individually or as a bundle of all four titles. And there's going to be a sample of the audiobook that will be shortly made available from right here on their SoundCloud page. So if you're interested in this, also they're going to be available to purchase via Candy Jar Books with the fifth Moon Blink by Sadie Miller due to be published in April. So if you're into these kind of books, boom, here it is. Okay, moving on, BBC Books update. BBC Books have announced plans for new doctor for some Doctor Who publications to come out over the coming months. All right, they'll publish, uh, let's see, Legend of Song, collection of stories from River Song's Diary, and the first full-length book to feature River that's to be, it's going to be published by BBC Books. It'll be also released in an e-format in February, followed by a hardback edition in June. The Hooniverse, the untold history of the worlds of Doctor Who, that'll be out in October. And also, um, let's see, day, uh, Doctor Who, 365 days of, mo of mom sorry, no, 365 days, oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, 365 days of memorable moments and impossible things. So, and that's going to be out in March. And this is described as a beautifully finished day-by-day -day assortment of drama, humor, fright, and rough fun from over 50 years of the show's history. history. Uh, Who Graphica will be released in September which features visualizations and infographics that explore the universe of the show for new and long-term fans. And lastly, BBC Books will be putting out Doctor Who, the official cookbook, in August. And I'm not even going to bother entertaining that. Oh, man. you got to be kidding me. Okay. You'll never guess what the Doctor does in this unused scene from uh, Mummy on Your Express. And it's just a nifty, nifty scene. I'm going to let you guys read this because it, it's kind of funky. It's really funny as heck. All right. All right. Wait a minute, what did I do wrong? Ah! Uh, all right, moving on. Sorry about that. I had a, my screen did a weird thing there. It happens every now and then. Okay, Dr. Who's Osgood is terrified of the toilet and it's all because of Missy. And this was after a couple of a tweet. I love this. This is what um, Ingrid Oliver tweeted out. And she goes, I was scared to go in there, Michelle. Go, I was scared to go in, Michelle Gomez. And Michelle Gomez re replies, and you were right to be wary. No one gets out of that TARDIS unscathed, especially Osgood. Uh, moving on, Jenny Colgan's 10th uh, Doctor and Donna novel is due out in May, and this gives you a little bit you know, more release into it. She goes, expect, Jenny Colgan is said to expect a fast-paced er, fast paced Earth adventure about Internet trolls to coincide with the big finish release of Time Reaver, which reunites David Tennant and Catherine Tate as the 10th Doctor and Donna. So... Make sure to go check this on that little bit of thing. <laughs> also, In the Blood by Jenny Colgan will be available to order from 12, for £12.99 from BBC Books in May. And okay. Oh, we were coming down to the wire. Pre-order Torchwood, The Victorian Age is coming soon from Big Finish. If I remember right, this is due out in March. And it's basically right back, you know, kind of, it's kind of self-described, you know, kind of describes itself, don't it? So... If you've been interested in this series, they haven't been too bad so far. Um, I especially love the one they did with uh, Tracy Ann Oberman, you know, replacing her, um, re oh, sorry, God, replacing, what am I doing here? Oh, reprising her role as Yvonne Hartman from way back in, you know, an Army of Ghosts, no, yeah, Army of Ghosts Doomsday. And it's kind of an adventure that takes place before that all happens, and it's pretty interesting. And, of course, lastly for today, Matt Smith, Attends the London premiere of Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Okay. So if you're into this, boom, 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 here it is. And there's a nice little short video. Okay. So like I said, there's not much going on show-wise. There's not going to be much going on officially until April when the show starts shooting. Allegedly, class was supposed to have started like either last week or the week before, but nobody's seen the hide nor the hair of it so far. So either they're not doing any location shooting or somebody mistook the start date or they've been sitting in the studio like crazy, you know. So we got to sit back and wait and we'll get more info on that. And when we do, I'll have it out to you. But as I said, the reason why I haven't been doing daily videos is because there's nothing really to report of any importance. And it's kind of depressing and whatnot, but it's the truth. So I figured I'll just take this time off, take it easy cruise in the 2016 but i'll always still be here for you so keep your eyes out don't worry i'm not going anywhere so haha <laughs> well until next time everybody take care talk to you enjoy the rest of your night dr freedom out peace